He did that in the neighbor's pool? That's disgusting. People have to swim in that water. I'm probably going to get some kind of gross rash. I was in the pool when he did it. I was at ground zero. Haley, it's not okay to use that term. I was actually at ground zero. I was the first one on the scene selling erotic t-shirts. Osama bin sexy, sexy bin Laden, and yo mama bin fartin. That last one was not erotic to everybody. Your poor father. He didn't even come home last night. <gasps> Stan! Have you been in there all night? Yes, and I'm never coming out. And you were worried about me embarrassing you? Stop it, Steve. Stan, none of us think any less of you for what you did. I don't care what any of you guys think. What does that matter? My reputation's ruined. Soiled like these cheap swim trunks and the several places I sat down when I first came home. Sweetheart, nobody knows. Just a few neighbors at the party. You're blowing this whole thing out of proportion. <sighs> okay, okay. Maybe, maybe you're right. Oh, no, oh, no, no, Frank. No, you can stay in there. Hi, Frank. The whole town's laughing at me, and on all days, Bullock just appointed me the head of the new Tactical Urban Response Division. <gasps> Francine! Francine, wake up! I'm too tired. Do whatever you want, just don't get it in my hair. Wake the kids and get them in the car. You have 90 seconds. Dan, it's three o'clock in the morning. Where are we going? I can no longer live in this town. <laughs> the Smiths are dead. There's no turning back. Oh, my God! Look, it's Frank! I see him, I see him. <laughs> Stan, we've been driving all night. Do you even have a plan? Yes. To get as far away from my shame as possible. Can't we just go home? Yeah, if we can go back in time. Can you do that, Haley? Have you smoked that much weed? Well, if you see me back there, tell me don't jump in the pool. Don't jump in the pool! Roger, what happened? Well, I guess sometimes a hole in a men's room stall is just a hole in a men's room stall. The world needs to know. America is ready to step up and lead again. So inspiring. Hey, you guys are truckers. Want to hear a horribly racist joke? Hey, where I come from, we don't judge a man by the color of his skin, or his religion, or even the mistakes of his past. Excuse me, friend. Where are you from, exactly? Small town in Indiana called Mercyville. It's not fancy, mind you. You know, we don't have any swimming pools, and thus no one ever recounts any swimming pool-related stories. But what we lack in places to swim, we make up for in understanding. That sounds like the perfect place for us to live. Well, not much of a gay scene out back either. <laughs> 